Hello everyone. Good morning to all. Today we will learn new grammar topic and that is sentences. What is sentences? That definition we will learn and then we will see how the exercise. Let's see sentences. A sentence is a group of words which makes complete sense. We have already learned letters, alphabets. From that alphabets we can make words and Group of words which makes complete sense is called sentence. All sentences have verb. A sentence begins with a capital letter and ends with a full stop, a question mark or exclamation mark. Here all three examples you can see. First one that is simple one which starts with the capital letter and ends with the full stop. The children are playing in the garden. Now second one that is question uh, that sentence which starts with the WH word and end with the question mark. Where is Natasha going? Third one that is exclamatory sentence which starts with the capital letter and ends with the exclamation mark. Hey, don't plug the flowers. Now let's see exercise A. Circle the correct words. A spider has eight. In the bracket, three options it is given. The uh, three options are tails, legs, Noses. So, correct answer that is legs. Here I have written with the bold letters. In the notebook, you have to put circle around the correct answer. The spider has eight legs. Every classroom has a hole. My grandfather repairs clocks. A bird uses its wings to fly. Exercise B. Complete the sentences. Here in the bracket, two options it is given. From that, you have to choose the correct answer. And complete the sentences. There are three eggs in the nest. The new boy in our class is called Mohit. Here in the option it is given London and Mohit. As a new boy is there, boy's name will be Mohit, not London. London it is the name of the city, right? So correct answer it is Mohit. The sun is shining brightly. Here shining brightly and eating quickly it is there. So obviously what is the correct answer? Shining brightly. Sun is there. So along with the sun, you have to write shining brightly. Now next one. Our family likes to eat brown bread, not brown paper. We are not eating brown paper. So you have to write brown bread. Exercise C. Rearrange these words to make sentences. Here words it is given. You have to arrange them in a proper sequence and make it proper sentence. Favorite color is my pink. Pink is my favorite color. Or else you can write my favorite color is pink. Next one. A made sandwich for Sneha me. Sneha made a sandwich for me. Owls day during sleep the. Owls sleep during the day. Saina Nehwal player badminton is a. Saina Nehwal is a badminton player. Next exercise that is exercise D. Rearrange these words to make questions. In previous exercise, we have done that 
sentences. Rearrange the words to make sentences. Here, questions it is there. Jake's is where school? Where is Jake's school? Where is Jake's school? Now, second one. Has gone where Rashi? Where has Rashi gone? Do leave you where? Where do you live? Someone called it me. Did someone call me? Now let's see interjection. What do you mean by interjection? A word or a group of words which express a sudden feeling is called an interjection. A word or a group of words which express a sudden feeling is called an interjection. An interjection always ends with an exclamation mark. Oh no! Hey, don't pluck flowers. Hello, I am happy to see you again. Wow, what a pretty dress you have. I hope that all of you have understood. So, definitions of the sentences and interjection and all the exercise you have to write in your grammar notebook. Thank you.